Hello, my name is Jessie, and today I'm going to show you the basics of the Koha OPEC. The Koha OPEC is completely responsive, meaning that your users can log in from their mobile device, from a laptop or their desktop, and easily search uh, to find what they're looking for. We have integration with third-party e-content providers like Overdrive, Cloud Library, and recorded books. Your patrons can easily scroll through and look for um, items flowing on the front page of the cover flow, um, easily looking through different types of sections. You can integrate items that have just arrived. So if I'm looking for the most recent DVDs, your user can select that and it will bring back a list of results where they can see those um, new DVDs that are available in the system. They have features like a cart, which allows them to easily save things into the system where they can email them to themselves, download it, or print it off. We also have a list feature, which works two ways. Your librarians and staff members can curate lists um, where the users can come in and, and view titles in the collection. And through their personal accounts, they can also save items to a list. Um, your users have a couple different ways to log in. They can log in up top or down below. We have options that would allow them to reset their password. Um, they can register if you want to turn on self-registration. You can absolutely do that and it allows them to fill out a form that gets sent back to your staff. Let's talk a little bit more about some of the customizations you see here. Um, there are some social settings that you can turn on um, called comments um, and tags. Uh, this allows the user to look at recent comments in the system so they can see what other users are talking about. And then there's also something called tagging. This allows your user to come in and they can kind of browse by tags that other patrons have left in the system. Both comments and tags are um, things that can be turned on and off, but it's a nice way to encourage um, social social integration within the system. You can absolutely highlight certain content um, in your system. So here you can see some digital content that we've um, highlighted. Um, just arrived is a great way for you to highlight certain either material types or item types or collection codes in the system. So here I put one in for DVDs. This way your patrons can come in, say, show me what's just arrived for DVDs, and it will bring them back a list of results. Plenty of ways to customize your OPAC. You can tie in your logo, your look and your theme. Um, you can give us hex styles and that will allow you to customize. You can even allow different languages in the OPAC. So if your user would like to translate into Spanish, they can easily um, translate between the two. Um, so you can see that it will translate that information for you and then they can translate back and forth. Thank you for viewing some of the features of customizations with the Koha OPAC.